The weather outside is beautiful. Summertime is here. The Bank of Canada just announced that rates are coming down a quarter basis point. There is a lot that's happening in the real estate market. I'm Bowanka with the Compass team, and this is your May 2024 market update. We're going to be talking about May of 2023, comparing it to May of 2024, as well as what happened in April 2024, so we can see what happened over that last month so the first thing that i want to talk about is the bank of canada lowered the interest rate or the overnight rate for the first time since in four years the last time that they had lowered the rate was back in april uh stayed low for a year two years and then it started going up and it went up fast like faster than we've ever seen we stayed at five um five percent overnight rate for it was it's almost been a year pretty much a whole entire year and this is the highest that it's been in the last 22 years so that's a that's a, that's a pretty long time and now uh, we've seen this first rate cut and we do think we're going to see more rate cuts coming over the next uh, over the second half of the year only time will tell again i don't have a crystal ball but I do study the market, I study the numbers, and that's why I wanna bring you the numbers every single week as well. So, first thing that we're gonna talk about is the price, we always talk about the price. Now, the price has gone up. The price went up 10K since May of 2023, since uh, April of 2024. So, April of 2024, if you watched the last one, the price was sitting at a million one hundred and fifty six thousand and now we're sitting at a million sixty five thousand so nine thousand more it's not not a substantial difference um but the market is still continually getting stronger if we look back at may of 2023 which was may was the strongest time of all of 2023 they held rates uh either in march or in april and then we started they held rates and it, it went like this and the price went like that because we had been going up 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 with rates and then the rates held price went up and then after may they brought the rates up again and then the price started to come down so this is what happens as rates come down price goes up right they held the rates for the last year and since january rates have been going up as well now let's get into it okay so the, we talked about price. I mean, in May, the average price was 1195000 That's 30 k more than where we're sitting at today. But what the news is talking about a lot uh, is that the transactions, there was 22% more sales last year. They're saying now sales are down 22%. Let me help you understand this. Now, in May of 2023, we were sitting at 8,960 transactions, sales. That's the amount of sales in that month. In May of 2024, we're sitting at 7,000, just over 7,000. Now that is a 22% drop. But if we take it back to April, one month ago, what was happening then? The transactions were just over 7,000 again, 7,114. Now let's take it to the new listings. New listing meaning what's coming onto the market. And we did see a big jump. So in April of 2024, we were just under 17,000. And in May, now we're just over, we're at 18,612. So we did see more new listings. The amount of transactions was the same. And even when we talk about the, the days on market, the days on market in May of 2024 was 28 days. In April of 2024 was 28 days. But if we take it back to May, that was 20 days on market. So you can see there's a there's a big difference there. In May, there wasn't the months of inventory was a lot lower. There was just the supply was lower and the demand was higher and rates were holding and people who had been sitting on the fence for a while, they wanted to get in. They wanted some action. They wanted to get a place because they've been waiting for so long. We're back at a time similar to that right now with this rate drop. It gives consumers more confidence. It's not going to make a really big difference to what your mortgage is going to be, what your monthly payment is going to be, but it does make it a lot, a lot easier for you to have confidence in the market when all you're hearing from the news and from everybody is rates are coming down, rates are coming down. And I do think rates are going to keep coming down, but it also depends what happens with price. 
Um, so the month of inventory last month was 2.54 and now we're sitting at 3.1 months of inventory. So we're up about uh, 0.5 months of inventories. Now, like I said, May has been slower. I'm surprised the price went up, but it did go up just a little bit. Uh, I'm surprised the transactions didn't come down because it seemed like things are slower, but it mostly has to do with all the new listings that came. There's a lot more available. The homes that are selling right now are freehold homes, homes that do not have any maintenance fee. Condos are a lot slower. We have listings right now that they're just, they're, they're, they're slower and we know what they're worth, but there was not as many people in the market. So if you're a buyer and you're looking at a condo, either condo townhouse or just a regular condo, you can get an amazing deal right now. Uh, just because there's so much that's available. So just, but you have to be in the market. You have to be putting in offers. You have to know why people are trying to sell. And that's where you're going to be able to find a great deal. Um, even if you're a buyer and you're looking at a freehold detached, the way that the market is, it's better to get something now than wait a little bit longer. Because what I do predict is that rates are, uh, is that prices are going to be going higher. Again, I don't have a crystal ball but we do study everything that's happening in the market. So this is your market update for May of 2024. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, can you give us a thumbs up? Give us a thumbs up. But if you do have any questions, always feel free to reach out. I'm Bawanka with the Compass team. You can reach out to me or anybody else on the team. And uh, I'll see you next month with some new uh, updates on what's going on in the market.